Alright everybody, this is Craig from Nine Bolt Games and this is part 12 of the Silent Hill 2 HD Collection walkthrough, playthrough. Can't really say walkthrough because I'm not showing you everything. Um, this is now, we're at the hotel, we just got out of the boat. Hopefully you did better than I just did in that one. Um, <laughs> Alright, what's going on in this one? This one I'm going to go all the way up until the employee elevator and a lot of you might be like, dude... Just go a little further. I'm trying to think of segments of time in this one because I don't want to make 25 minute videos because people aren't going to watch them. If you're watching it for a playthrough, you're not going to be able to figure out what parts where and what you need to do. And some people just aren't going to sit through a 25 minute video of me talking. They'd rather take me in smaller increments. So I'm going to the employee elevator because it's just easier to chop it up that way. And there's a save point there for those of you who are playing along with me. So employee elevator. This should be fairly quick. Now, just for the setup, just in case there's a gap between when you watched it, what we are doing is we have just grabbed the map in the hotel. Craig's going to turn this up because I keep turning it down. Alright, so we grab the map. What we're going to do is we are going to I'm going to point the map out on this one. We're going to go right to the restaurant, Lakeshore. Mm. I'm going to get the fish key. Just get it over with. Don't even try and go grab the fish key. Just walk towards the piano. Underage. Did I scare you? Yeah. You did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? I'm gonna read it. But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. I'll just read this one for you, just to get over. So I know Dan's watching these videos as as I'm playing it. <laughs> All right, so this is the uh, my dearest Laura. I'm leaving this letter to you. Letter, oh, I can't even read. <laughs> my dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give you after I'm gone. I'm far away now in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James, I know you hate him because you think he's not, he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, but it doesn't he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like you're my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura. How old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I've got to find it. Laura. All right, well, that's all done. You grab the fish key. Get ready for a fight, Jack, because monsters have now started to appear in the hotel. And they're abstract daddies, which have now become com common enemies. Just kill this one. Uh. 
has more. Just go down. Go down the stairs. You should see that, right? Walk around the legs. Grab the thinner, you need it. Walk back. Go up the stairs, back up the stairs. What do I do? Legs. Back up the stairs and take your immediate right again. Ah, come on. Get off. Go up the stairs to the second floor. I'll open the map. On the second floor, you're going to want to go to the cloak room. Inside the cloak room, you have two sets of handgun bullets, two sets of shotgun rounds. You're going to take that fish key, you're going to use it on this briefcase. I should probably heal. Sure. Go over and grab the first aid kit. Oh, I forgot. You guys probably can't see what these keys are. That was the key to room 204, so clearly we are going out this door. You can go that way. You don't have to, but we're not going to. How's that? Room 204 is up here. You're going to have two abstract daddies in the hallway. I think they're just, they're called doormen at this point. Goddamn noise, you can't hear it. But there was a woman crying in the hallway. Room 204. We're gonna go in here, you're gonna grab the employee elevator key. Yes, yes. Now, the employee elevator key, uh, you go through the hole in the wall over here to the next room. There's a briefcase on the ground. There's pictures on the bed. Use the thinner right here. I already know that the code is open. Depends on what you're playing for a difficulty level. Puzzle. Use a thinner on that picture, it reveals the code to the briefcase that's on the floor, which, like I said, is open. Very easy. It's because this is on normal. Oh, God. I passed the E. Open. The employee elevator key. What we're going to do is we're going to go out, listen to the woman cry in the hallway. didn't do it. That's weird. I did on the way up with the fucking monsters. Alright, so we got the employee elevator key. What you're going to do is you're going to go all the way across the main hall and you're going to go into this gray room right here. That's where the employee elevator is. Did I grab that music box? Oh, I did. <laughs> Rifle shells are important. Grab as many of those as you can. Okay, uh, gray room is right here. Okay, gray room. This is where I'm actually going to stop it. You can grab all this shit, but guess what? You can't use it. <laughs> Simply because, go in this elevator and you try and use it, and you can't. It says one weight allowance, one person. So you have to go in here, store all your shit. Weaponless.
You have to get rid of everything. You're like, what am I going to do about light? Uh, you're going to be using a light down there. So what I do is I like to save right here. Because there are enemies. And then this is where we're going to end this portion. Just because the next one I'm going to be call I'm going to call it Alone in the Dark. And it's going to take, uh, the next video will take you all the way to the fights with the Pyramid Head. The next video will be very cutscene heavy. Because those who've already beaten it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then the video after that will be the actual Pyramid Head fights. The final boss fight. And then I'll do the different endings I got. Because the way I have it going right now is I'm do doing two dual games. One with the new voices, one for you guys. And they're both going to have different endings. So, stay tuned. I might be putting them up tomorrow. I'm actually not going to say for sure. Because every time I do that, I don't. <laughs> but, uh, keep on trucking, guys. Thank you.